Let's learn how to use speed control for iMovie for the desktop. Speed control, or sometimes known as speed ramp or time remapping, is the art of slowing down and speeding up your video clip in order to produce a dramatic and creative effects. Let's take a look at this particular clip and see how we can use speed control to enhance this clip. I click on my speed icon and let's take a look at it. We have our controls normal, slow, fast, free frame, and custom. Custom meaning that we can do slow mo in one section, speed in another, freeze frame. So we can actually break up a clip into different areas. We have how we want to smooth it out. We can reverse the action and preserve pitch. That's important for dialogue. So for this clip, what I'm going to do is, this is gun showing how we ground up the rice into this fine, fine powder. Not bad. But let's slow it down a little bit. Let's use slow. Slow. And we have percentages of how we want to be able to slow it down. Or pick auto. Auto is for... It's an average, so we're going to pick 10%. It's only going to be 10% slower. Now, when I play it, much more dramatic. We have some issues with the audio. Now, watch when I turn on preserve pitch. And I'm not going to say this works perfectly all the time, but in this case, it does, doesn't do a bad job. And so now I slowed it down a bit to give it a little more action. So I'll go back to select my clip. And I can reverse it. You notice the clip got longer because we slowed it down. Go back to speed. Now if I picked fast, now it's even shorter because it's playing a lot faster. Let's see what happens here. Not that good. I like to slow them a lot better. So what I'm going to do is use my keyboard command, command Z, bring it back to slow mo. So now we can speed it up and slow it down. And again, just like with speed or fast, we have different percentages of how much we can do it. I'll go back to slow. So as he moves it around right about here, would be a good place to do a hold. It stops the play motion of the video so we can take, take, uh, take a quick look at it. The way we do this is we need to use the range selector. If you remember from audio, if you haven't listened to the audio section, we did this in the audio section where we held down our R key and it gives us the ability to just select an area. Not perfect yet, so let's move our range where we want it, right about there. And I select it, and I'm going to come over here and hit freeze frame. And you can see there's different markers. Uh, the tortoise is for slow, this is for freeze frame, and goes back. So let's play it, moves it. Hold it, nice shot of it, and then it continues on it as a. So in this one clip, with speed, we're able to, and the reason it's custom, because we have three different, um, we ha I have two different functions. We have slow and freeze frame. I'm able to do normal speed, slow, fast, free freeze frame, use the R key that allows us to select a range to either control or speed up. Maybe on the end here I can speed it up, but I, I like the slow-mo effect. And by using the preserve pitch, control the volume within reason. If we go down really slow, it may not work well, but in this particular case it did a really nice job. So speed, have fun with it, use it sparingly, but it can add an awful lot to your final